The Ten Commandments were weak. You'll hear preachers say, well, you know, the Ten Commandments, this and that, and if we try to water those down, we weaken God. I want you to know God weaken God. You don't know what you're talking about. The law is holy, but the law is weak. What does that teach you? If the law represents the will of God, and in Romans 7, Paul wrote to us by the Holy Spirit that the law is holy. Yet Romans 8, right after that, the same man writes, but the law was made weak in that men were made, we had fallen, our flesh made us weak. What is that telling you? Something Jesus had to teach the lawyers and the theologians of his day because they didn't understand. If God's own law was holy, but it was made weak, what does that mean? God chose you over being right. Hello? How much does he love you? Because he didn't go after his law and punish you all and burn you up right then, did he? He sent a remedy. So what did he choose over law? You. And what did they ask Jesus? How can you go healing on Sunday? Don't you know us against the law? Jesus said, don't you know God chose you over the law? Don't you know Sabbath serves you and not you Sabbath? Don't you know you are the possession that's treasured higher even than the law? <laughs> right? Absolutely makes sense, doesn't it? You know it to be true if you feel with the Holy Spirit because he just testified to you that that's true. Hey, amen.